Adventure is a 1981 arcade game where you play as a character named Winky and explore dungeons for treasure. This is the 1982 Venture game cartridge for the ColecoVision. Now, unfortunately, I've never seen the arcade machine, but most of the ColecoVision versions of arcade games are nice representations of the arcade originals. There's a wide map as you navigate Winky through the dungeon, where he looks like a little tiny pixel. You can't attack the bad guys in any way, you just have to avoid them and try to enter the different rooms of the dungeon. At which point, you then zoom into the close-up view here of Winky, fighting bad guys, dodging traps, and collecting treasure. There, can you see me? I'm the little pixel on the bottom left. Hello. My name is Winky. I fight monsters with a bow and arrow that looks like a weather vane. Now I'm on the clock, I've got to get this room cleared and get out of there before Evil Auto comes onto the screen. And I'm not joking. I don't know what it's called, but a big green monster thing comes onto the screen just like Evil Auto in Berserk. And will eliminate you if you take too long in the room. You can't shoot him, all you can do is run. So it behooves you to get your job done quickly, but what might not be apparent from watching the gameplay is that Winky is not very maneuverable or responsive. What he's saying is that I suck! No, I'm not saying that at all. In fact, I think the controls were made intentionally challenging because this game would be really easy if you could accurately aim and dodge enemies. Like, if this game had Robotron-style controls, it would be cake, but it doesn't. It's got far more in common with Berserk, in many ways. So we're on to the next level here, and as you rotate through levels over time, they'll get faster and more challenging. Note that after you shoot bad guys, you cannot run into them. They're like the aliens from Alien, and leave giant puddles of acid that you can't step in until they magically evaporate. So when you gun down a bunch of the bad guys in this game, know that they're a wall preventing you from getting to the treasure, giving the evil auto imposter time to get you. More treasure! Damn it, there's a wall of carcasses preventing me from leaving this room. Didn't somebody bring a flamethrower? Maybe that's only in the arcade version. It only makes sense. I keep this handy for close and. Well, no, that was a shotgun. Same principle, though. While this game is on the Atari 2600 as well, don't confuse it with Adventure, minus two letters. It's a completely different game. And don't run into bad guys because they will off you without mercy. Snap! Give me some bonus score! Why does he sound like he's freebasing helium? What's in that treasure? It should be noted that the faster you clear out each level, the more bonus score you get. Basically, Venture rocks and is a must-have game for your ColecoVision collection. What? You don't have a ColecoVision collection? <laughs> Why? What's wrong with you? Go get one! Everybody needs a ColecoVision and Vectrex. They're the best things that 1982 had to offer. Ah! Get the hell out of the room! Every time you score an extra 20,000 points, you get an extra Mr. Winky. And make sure to tell all of your friends about that. Everyone respects a man with multiple Winkies, because how else do you expect to get through some of the harder levels when the enemies become faster? As with most ColecoVision games, there's four different difficulty settings. I'm playing on number two. 
Which is not terribly hard, but it takes a while to get used to the controls in this game. Because they truly are unresponsive. It takes this guy a while to stop, turn, and shoot. Winky needs to go to the Pac-Man School of Controls. 